think of how can I be the one in power where I'm not, I don't have my hands, my work dependent in the hands of someone, someone. else, mm -hmm. but how do I become the one that determines when I'll get the next job mm -hmm. and um, kind of be in more control of that. And it was always about figuring that out, you know, how do you become, um, I guess also, how do you have more ownership over what you do? But um, more than that, be able to create several streams of income. As we much know. as I love people, <laughs> the most successful businesses, I think, um, will always be the ones that have nothing to do with people, people. Yes. at the back. Yes, yes. exactly. So, uh, <laughs> it's just one of those things. As soon as you have to deal with people, people. Yeah, it's, it's from any tough. side, you know? Yeah, it's just, customers, it's just, your people, yeah. it's tough. But, but to start a business, I mean, it would be ideal just to start a business that had nothing to do with any other people. <laughs> but you need people. You can. Um, so the best thing to just try and combat all those frustrations that may come with people is to just create an environment yeah. that they enjoy as much as possible. Yeah. And from that, hopefully, you start to align, or they start to align with your goals and, and care about the business as much as you do because of how much you care about them and invest in them. And eventually, when you do that with people, they invest in you. And then hopefully we have the same kind of goal and purpose and mission to both make or to all make a success of something. Mm. We could love um, no, working no, in I film. No, no, I fully agree. I fully, mm. I fully agree. And, I fully agree. And, and um, but you'd you could hit working for me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I actually end up killing your passion for it. But mm. you could not want to be a waiter or waitress. And then I create such a great environment yeah, for it, and you start to enjoy it, and you get paid well. Yeah. Then it could be something yeah. that we just all love doing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I also um, try and know every part of the, the value business. chain, every yeah. part of the business, and mm. I'll do that. And when I'm at the restaurant, I'll be cleaning the floor. Mm. Thanks. Mm. That's thanks to my mom. You know, you, mm. you know <laughs> nothing's too long. Oh, get on your knees. Do what you gotta do. Um, Pick up whatever needs to be picked mm, up. It's your Wait the tables, yeah. all of that. Yeah. It's your business, and you also need to remind them that you know, you, as much as you value them, yeah. you know, you can do their job their just job. as well yes, as them. Definitely. So don't try and take advantage or whatever it might be. Yeah. You know, I prefer the brutal kind of honesty. Or you can see when some people are also just being mean, but mean, yeah. I always will deal with it as as calmly as possible. Um, and hopefully try to put it into perspective for them kind of what they're saying and how they're saying it. Mm, um, mm. And if people come in with rage, I think I'll always calm down that rage and kind of come to a good compromise. I always try and deal with business complaints the way I wish businesses would deal with their complaints in public. Yeah. You know? um, not generic responses or any of that. Like, how do you personally get involved and yeah. actually, um, you know, be able to address things like that? So obviously, you know, I'm one of those people who um, there's. I realize there's always going to be negative feedback for whatever yeah. you do, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is, you know, it's just one of those things as well where no matter how many positive reviews you can get for something, that one negative one always kind of sucks because mm. you, you wish you could keep it up mm. at that level. But I think also people themselves need to be a little bit reasonable and understand that, you know, things happen and it yeah. isn't yeah. easy to always keep the highest possible standard and keep things yeah. um, perfect every time. Yeah. And I always say to any of my, my customers, and this is always when they open up, and I go up to them and I, and I say, how was your experience, how was your yeah. burger? They're like, oh, it was fantastic, it was fantastic. And when I can spot that it wasn't really fantastic, <laughs> yeah. I say to them, no, no, how was it really? And they're like, no, 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 it was, it was, it was it great, was I promise, it was great. And I say, listen, don't worry about hurting my feelings. Because yeah. If you worry about hurting my feelings, you're going to hurt my business. Because mm. if, if you don't tell me the truth, I can't improve, mm. yeah. and that's how you hurt my business. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I welcome all of that. Yeah. Um, and I think it's really important for business to take that on the, yeah. on the chin and just do better next time.